Zebra, zebra muscle, Dreisena polymorpha, is freshwater muscle. I, I, I am more involved with the marine environment, but two big um, examples in the world are from freshwater. One is international, this muscle, Dreisena polymorpha. But the other one is a Brazilian example, is the um, golden muscle, Limnoperna fortunate. In the 80s, the invasion was very concentrated in one part of the, the Great Lakes in the US initially. But today, since 2000, spread completely through the United States. And the, it is a, a very big problem because they block all the pipes and the, any activity, industrial activity using water from the rivers or, or lakes, the water is blocked to, to refrigerate any system and the, the system to produce potable water or to produce energy, electrical energy, can be stopped. And this can cause a lot of problems, not only for, for the US or Brazil, but any uh, country or any activity that depends on the, the water to do what they have to do. This is another good example, international example, that they use this a lot, because this problem started to, to create a problem in, in the 80s, and they are the, the most ex studied cases, the Resena polymorpha and the Minemiopsis lady, is a kittenoffer, I would say. Combi jelly is the common name, and the problem was caused in the Black Sea and the other seas around the Black Sea in Europe. They are from America. I think they live here also, in South America, in Brazil. Maybe you can find them here in Jeriba. But they cause a very um, great problem for the fishery in these seas. They eat not only the larvae of the fish, but also the food of the larvae and of the fish. And th then they uh, cause a, a breakdown, a, a very serious problem for the fishery in these seas. This is another example, a seaweed in the Mediterranean. Caulerpa taxifolia is the name, scientific name is a green algae that was, in, they say that, I can't prove, but in the publications they say that this algae was in the aquaria of the uh, Oceanographic Museum of Monaco, the Jacques Cousteau, and they, in some way, released this through the sewage or in another way, and they contaminate the, the Mediterranean Sea. And now, they are very nice, covering everything. They are not the natural food for the fishes that live there. And then, if the correct food is not there, the fish disappear also. Then this is the, the example of, of a problem that we can have in the environment. Not only a ecological, but also economic uh, problem impact. The algal blooms, the red tides, the intense reproduction of algae, mainly dinoflagellates or diatoms, that produce a, a kind of, of toxin that can kill the organisms and can kill the man if someone eat organisms that were fed on these, these algae. 
ballast water is very well related also with the occurrence of algal blooms in some ports. Here an example, a, ro a rock lobster, this is covered by a rock lobster that died as a result of a bloom of Ceracium furca, a dinoflagellate. Another. The problem many times is related to the cysts that live on the sediments. And when we talk about a, a ballast tank, we, we don't have only the water, we have sediments that dep deposit on the, on the bottom of the tank, and then they, these cysts can live there for a long time. And then when the water and the cysts, because when you put the water in the ballast tank, the sediment can be resuspended. And then when the water is released, the ballast, the ship, the ballast, the, the water, these can be in the sea. They reproduce. The shellfish, the mussels, the oysters eat them, and if the man eats these clams, can suffer a lot. We have many examples of death, including death in cases of algal bloom. We have many examples of species that were introduced in the world. In Brazil, we have as invasive species these two. The golden mussel, I will talk a bit more later. And the cholera. Cholera is a kind of organism or, or invader or invasive species that has an impact in, in the health of the human beings. Cholera uh, is a, a very common species in everywhere, but we have to consider the, the, the stain that contain the capacity to produce the reaction. It's not only a, a, any, any cholera that causes this, Vibrio cholera. It must be a O1 toxigenic. It's very specific. You can find here, maybe in Jeriba, Vibrio cholera, but must be O1 or O139 toxigenic, something very specific, not so common as Vibrio cholera. Then we, we are not, we can talk about species, but in the case of cholera, must be a very, uh, uh, very specific combination, not only the genus of the species, but other relations that can produce uh, the problem. <coughs>